morning guys so um it is 20 past eight i've been up since gone to so <laughs> yeah um yesterday um i went back to bed after i'd done my post run and slept through till tea time um and then me and mike decided to have a chill out night just watch telly in bed and what have you uh, i'm not even sure what time i fell asleep um but um yeah like i said i woke up at gone too and um i've not been asleep since but i don't feel tired so it's like i need to swing my bedtime back around i've been sleeping most of the day awake most of the night and it, it's not good for me it's not like it's not good for anybody is it that this camera's a bit should it be higher does it look better? oopsie it looked like if I didn't show you on the freaking floor, wouldn't it? Okay, so I've got um, a cable attached, and I thought, oh, I'll put you on the windowsill and see if that's a little bit higher, and see if that gives you a better. And I'm gonna have to flip you over because otherwise, because so I've got you on charge as well. Nah, that's not gonna work, is it? Is it? Nah, the windowsill's not big enough. Oh, well, sorry. Are you can have to put up with being a bit too close to me. <laughs> me being a bit in your face but um so sort of one of the reasons that i wanted to message and you can see i'm doing that a little bit my shoulder for the first time is starting to tighten today and um, i've been really really super relaxed and i'm gonna do a post later with photos and videos and stuff of like what's been going on with my body um but like my neck Normally doing that would crick, crick, crick. I mean, I don't know if you can remember how much motion I used to have. I could down do that without it cracking. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's quite hard to explain, but the tension's very, very much higher up, very much up in here. Um, and as long as I can keep, well, I say as long as I can keep my posture perfect, but I'm now getting to a point where I no longer have to keep my posture perfect. Me and Mike, um, we cuddled, and it was cuddled, because um, it's been <laughs> too painful, basically, for me to be able to just snuggle up and, you know, you normally cuddle up into the armpit and... But no, my neck had tightened, my shoulder had tightened, my body had spasm. It'd be like, you, you can't lie like that. You've got to lie, like perfect posture on your back. Arms like that, totally perfect posture. And that's how I've slept for the last, um, what, four years? Yeah, four years, being on my back, pillow underneath my knee to prevent any type of um, strain on my back. And with my arms up like that, in order to basically pull the shoulders back and down. Um, and it has worked. Um, I mean, I've had issues with my legs as well, with knots and stuff and um, tightness. I've got a video I'll put up on the post that I'm going to do. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it for YouTube because I, I don't know how to compile videos together very well. Um, but it'll certainly be up on Facebook and Twitter, so if you've got access to those, you can go and have a skeg. Um, but, um, yeah, it's like today... Oh, one sec. Oh, you know, that's about... So it's like there's a tight bit running through here, just down into there. And apparently that is one of the hardest muscles to stretch. It's also one of the most important to stretch. So I do need to work on um, giving that one a good stretch. Um, but it's like I said, I've woke up and I'm like, where's the prick crack? Where's the, it, it's, it's gone. It, it's, it, it's like my body is like, let go. Apart from just that very, 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 very top bit. But even now it's not bothering me. It just feels tight, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know. So, 
things are really massively improving bodily wise and then the fact that today I'm up at eight o'clock and I do actually feel I don't know I'm starting to feel a bit more positive um just about well everything because I it, it, it's like I keep saying, everything has got a bit too much for me. I've been overwhelmed, I've been poorly, I've been and I've been doing some small doses of mushrooms that I found in the garden. There was this, this was really, really tiny little mushrooms in the garden. I started to eat a few, see what happened. And for some reason, they made me feel better. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm carrying on with that. And obviously with the, so this morning we are on the Gorilla Glue. And I'm absolutely gutted because I can't even remember if I've got um, some of the new non irradiated Yay, the non irradiated Gorilla Glue is black. Black? Black? No, it's not black, it's back. Um, and I don't think I've got any on my prescription. <laughs> oh dear, what a div I am. But I didn't know. Nobody tells me anything. I should know these things. I'm a bloody advocate for life, you know what I mean? I, I work with these people. I'm, I'm friendly with these people. We're supposed to, do you know what I mean? I, I should get the inside information. But no, I didn't find out until it was too late. So, but um, next prescription, I'll probably try it again. Because the, the non-irradiated is so much better. Um, I do love my terps. Although that peyote critical, you do sometimes wonder if it has been irradiated because the, the smell and the taste is, is so much more more than the stuff that's very irradiated, let's say. But then um, I was also talking to a chap when I went to that thing to like stretch. I'm not doing it as much as often though, am I? And it's only because I'm sat like this, I'm not really sat in the most comfortable of positions. Um, yeah, I got talking to this chap when I went to that thing um, with Nanny's Edibles. Um, was it in, oh God, where it was Birmingham, wasn't it, I went to. Um, and he was Canadian um, grower. And he was saying apparently there's lots of different ways of irradiating cannabis flower. Um, none are as, obviously his way is the best. But I, I don't know enough about this stuff. So do you know what I mean? It's interesting to know that there are different ways of doing it. And you know what I mean? Maybe some don't damage the terpenes as much, which would be good. But um, I don't know. It is what it is. But um, anyway, I digress. Um, what was I talking about apart from weed? Um, yeah. So like I said, I'm starting to get. Um, I mean, obviously my health starting to improve. Um, I'm starting to try and do bits of yoga. Like after my dinner the other night, I did it. Um, and what I am going to do, I'm going to get my camera set up and I'm going to show you a few of the moves that I'm doing. Um, just so that you can sort of see what type of... Hang on a minute, let's see if I can just do a couple of... Right, how much charge have I got? I'm sure I've got enough charge to unplug that for now. I'm waiting for the TSB to get back to me as well. Oh, crikey! I've nearly killed myself in my dressing gown then. Right then, so... What can you see here? No, that's dreadful. Oh, mantelpiece. It is going to have to be. Yeah, I think. If I can. See, this is the thing. I'm going to have to get my laptop out to do this in order to sort of show you the decent yoga moves. But I mean, it's like in the morning. How many people get up and give it the, a good stretch? Both ways. That just cracked there, that was nice. And then another one I like doing is that. And that gets in there. Now this shoulder was obviously the worst and there's still quite a bit in there that's very, very tight. But it's, um, it's the fact that, oh, my knee just cracked then. I don't know if you could hear that or not. It's the fact that normally I'll wake up in the morning and I'm like, ah, oh, a few hours of like crick, crick, crick. And then I'm constantly fighting against my body because my body's pulling back into old posture and it's just pretty much stopped. It's like I can relax and my posture holds and 
I don't need to be constantly sort of thinking, oh, shit, I need to, because it's going again, because it doesn't hurt anymore. And it, it that to me, if it doesn't hurt, it means it must be about right. And I'm trying to get my hair so that the um, light's a bit popped out. <laughs> Another little thing, yeah, these are some of the ones from the garden. <laughs> so I've got a couple more inside in the fridge light, but um, I'm hoping to do better next year. And I'm going to try and um, infest the local area with them as well. Um, but yeah, um, everything seems to be starting to improve again. I'm going to start doing more videos. Um, like I said, I've got the Murray share, but sorry. This is, this is another one. It's not a lot of people do enough of this type of stretching. So how many people get up in the morning and crouch down? Making sure your back straight, obviously. How many people do that in the morning and just sort of stretch a little bit? How many of you, honestly? Honestly? Do you? Really? I bet you don't. I bet you don't. Probably not. But I mean, I could quite comfortably sit like this for quite a while because it's, as long as I've got my back straight, making sure that the old butt is engaged and my bum engaged my god I, I was brushing my teeth and all of a sudden my right butt cheek decided to engage and it's been that tense with um i don't know just it was just like rock solid even when i was roller skating it wasn't engaging properly so the muscle wasn't working properly um, and now <laughs> it is it's it's just Nice being able to put, who does this when they get up in the morning? You really should. Nice good stretch for the old legs. Oh. And then you can get back up. And another good one, I won't get my mats out, is doing things like that. So one side to the other. Get back a bit. So these are things that I do. I mean, these are things I do when I'm just prepping around the house, you know, if I'm just getting a bit stiff. That really does get in there, right into the groin pile. Just fretting around doing stuff like this. But, again, I'm digressing because I'm just stretching a little bit. What um, I have mentioned is, like I say, um, I'm going to start doing a bit more yoga and a bit more sort of reasonable types of exercise that other people might want to be interested in joining in with um and so i'm gonna film a few things and see <laughs> i had it in my head um because obviously i've not been very well and i've lost a lot of weight um i mean when i was going to the gym i weighed 10 stone at one point um not badly i was 10 stone of muscle of course, that's a breath. <coughs> that blooming chest infection has killed me. Whew. But yeah, when I was going to the gym, I mean, at one point I was, like I said, I was near enough 10 stone. And some points I went a bit over when I got with Mike. I got a bit, um, yeah, comf comfort eating because I was happy. Um, but now I'm down to a poxy eight stone. Yeah, which is. It's not the worst. Um, I mean, when I was younger and um, using, phew, crikey, I went through a phase where I was using certain drugs that made you lose a lot of weight. Um, it's, it's stimulants, basically. And phew, I went down to six stone. Um, three months, three months of um, misusing amphetamine. And um, yeah, I went down to six stone. I was very young and stupid and easily led at the time. And um, but you know luckily it was only three months and i got through it and went back to the parents and the parents helped me and i, I got the weight back on um but it's um it's done to me now i feel like when i was that thin and it's yeah because it because obviously cause i'm older you need a bit more weight on you it's just how it is so i i, I think i look bloody awful at the moment i don't think i look too bad 
Um, I don't know, but um, yeah, my weight is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been eating a bit of junk food. Oh dear. It's like now I'm doing that. My neck used to be full of those lumps. Like I said, I'm going to put it up on Facebook and Twitter. And I'm going to do a wee post because of me feeling so good today. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm just going to sort of show, you know, the reminder of the lump in my side that I caught on camera, um, the bulgings in my legs, the lumps in my legs. Because um, it, it's all right, like people saying, oh, yeah, yeah, it's this, this, and this. Yeah, it might be, but... You've got to remember, I've had these lumps every single where, everywhere. I mean, even inside my torso, I can feel them popping, twanging. I mean, last night, one sort of popped, and it was like a reverberation all the way up there. And afterwards, it's really nice because it's, it's posture realigning itself. It's like I've restructured my entire body, um, all just starting by walking up and down a freeing pool and being force corrected upright but um i don't know it's got there in the end i think maybe um lifting weights was because uh, if you read about an unprepared kundalini awakening one thing it does tell you is to not lift weights now obviously at the time i thought it was a load of bollocks and i was lifting a lot of weights so i maybe put myself through a lot more pain than i had to if i'd have just done yoga it might have been a bit less painful but I also think I speeded up the process because of lifting the weights and forcing the posture, I mean really forcing it, um, really forcing it. I was proper holding myself, especially when I was lifting the weights, making sure that if my shoulder dropped, I was lifting it back up into place, making sure that everything was totally correctly positioned. Um, apart from the time I fucked my neck up because nobody told me that you're supposed to bring your chin down and not let your head go up like that. And that's when I ended up with that photo because my head was all over the place. And oh yeah, I mentioned about doing a plank, I ain't doing it this morning, but I'll, I will see how long I can do a plank for just out of interest. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to get off because it does look as though it might be stopping raining. And I want to go out for a wander, but it's raining. And the last two days it's been lovely and sunny and I've just not felt up to it. This is just bloody typical, isn't it? But, um, oh well, another day, another week, another Monday, and um, yeah, my job could go roller skating tonight if I feel up to it. That's if I'm not dying by then. I really do need to, I, 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 a lot of people say, well have an afternoon nap, do this, do that, go to bed, blah. but the trouble is if I try to sleep, I'll not be able to get my sleeping pattern back. Um, I would need to stay awake for an entire day, go to bed ridiculously early, like 9, 10 o'clock, and go to sleep. And that is how I get my sleeping pattern back. Otherwise, I'm, I don't like setting alarms. I hate alarms. If I set an alarm at 9 times out of 10, I'm going to turn the frigging thing off. Because it's just... <laughs> I don't like... I don't like getting up for alarms. And... Um, I mean, I used to just wake up naturally at four, five, six in the morning, but also that wasn't good for me either. That was because I was unwell. Um, and do you know what I mean? I, was, I wasn't sleeping properly. Now I'm sleeping a bit too much sometimes. I need to, it's like my um, website, Steve a Dream in Balance of Life. I am trying to get the balance of life correct. And, um, for somebody that's had a very very hectic life and autism and like just the rest of it i mean when i was younger i drank too much and then i got older and everything just went totally down the pan for a bit and and then i it got to the point where i discovered you know the power of cannabis and everything starts going up and then i have the mad panic and things start to dip a little because i'm like god i'm overwhelmed but it's like i don't know i'm starting to go back on that upward slope again and um that was it my yoga idea i was thinking how would people be interested in a few videos of 
get me better, get better with me. Yeah, because you know I enjoy making the videos, you know it cheers me up and I don't know, maybe it's just because it distracts me and I need distracting and I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I like helping people and when I get these messages back saying that, oh, you, you, you know, you've come, one chap, you, you convinced me to um, get medical cannabis, he was ex-forces and he didn't ever have thought about it and it's like, that's is why I do this, because somebody there with arthritis that's been suffering, scoring off a street dealer for the last, what, three months, I think he said it was about three months he was doing it off a street dealer, before that he was just suffering in pain, and now he's doing a lot better. Um, his partner, his wife, has fibromyalgia, and she's scared of cannabis, so I'm going to send her a wee pot of balm out and just to ease her into it. She's even scared of CBD because of brainwashing by the government. But it's, it's those little messages that I get from people just saying, you know, I love your videos, you cheer me up. And, you know, it's just, that's kind of like what I want to do. I want to help people learn to help themselves. And, you know, if I can give them a giggle in the meantime, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I'm going to go because I need a drink. My throat is starting to get a bit... <coughs> I've got a drink here. I can't get that really, couldn't I? But nah, I don't need to get off because it's been 20 odd minutes and I'm just waffling now, aren't I? So today, <coughs> as I said, the first day of the rest of my life, hopefully without having to put up with this fucking pain. I was talking to Mike last night and there was a point um, through this journey um, when I was going to the gym, when the posture was correcting and I didn't understand what was going on and the doctors couldn't explain it, I did get very, very close to giving up. Very, very close. Um, it, it was difficult because um, the cannabis is very, very good, but it doesn't always kill all the pain. Um, the mushrooms helped with my mood a bit, um, and I managed to get through it with the support of Mike and my friends. But um, there's been a couple of times when I've come close to wanting to give up again because the pain was so bad. But I kept on pushing through, and you know, hot baths, saunas, whatever, and yeah, and I lost all that, but fuck them. You know what I mean? I didn't need it anyway, apparently. Apparently that was stressing me out. So <laughs> I was getting stressed about the fact that I thought that I had to go for a sauna and I was putting myself in pain in order to go for a frigging sauna. It's functional neurological disorder. It's, it's, uh, it's very confusing and to me it's very much psychosomatic. And please do not scream at me, all your other people with FNDs, because I know they're all different. Um, but the one that I have does seem to be psychosomatic. Um, and do you know what I mean? So it, it's like, um, yeah, anyway, where was I? Yeah, so getting close to giving up. Hot baths, going to see my friend, chakra cleansing, chakra balancing lots of crystals um do you know what i mean just probably a bit more cannabis than i should have had sometimes with lots of edibles and stuff that i was buying but the fact is now that i've had my diet my diet i've had my diet my prescriptions practically fucking gone because i don't use that hardly no more um but my cannabis prescription has been reduced massively I was on, I mean, at one point, I was on 90 grams prescribed, um, two bottles of oil, um, the full indica one, and because I was seeing a certain doctor, I won't name him, um, through Life Clinic, he's now left through reasons because of what he was doing, and he was dealing with me direct by email, um, and sometimes he was letting me put in two repeats a month. So some months I was having 180 grams of flour. I wasn't always getting the oil, but a lot of months I was getting 180 grams of flour and I was going through it. But 
I'd come off opiates, I'd come off amitriptyline, I'd come off um, all the stuff in my stomach, the lansoprazole, all the other stuff. And I think that I just needed it. Now I'm on 60 grams and let's see, where's the prescription packet gone? So, these... When the prescription done? The prescription was done on the 9th. And what date are we on now? So do you know what I mean? I'm, I've still got 20 grams left out of that. I think I've, I must have another one upstairs. But I'm hardly going through anywhere near as much. No, I must have another one of the peyote upstairs. Or is it the Gorilla Glue? Because I've got five of those. <laughs> And I got five of them and it do not help me sleep. I was just hoping that the um, Murray share, but somebody said that it really, really does knock you out. So I really am hoping that the Murray share, but in the knockout, but in the meantime, <laughs> I've got just a little bit of CBD flour. <laughs> it's um, not the prettiest. It sure does the work. It's, it's like um, I do more 50% CBD flour now when I grind and then um, the rest with actual cannabis flour. This one is the Tangy Kush, is it? Tangy Kush. And I've got some um, skunk as well. But for me, I mean, at one point I was spending a fortune on CBD flour and now luckily. Um, I can import it as hemp tea because um, it is, it's hemp tea it's, um, and I drink it through my um, I drink it through my volcano honestly uh, so I don't know but um, that's where I'm at, I'm at uh, 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 where I'm at is comfortable <laughs> Oh dear, it's comfortable. It's comfortable and that's what else can you want for? I honestly never ever thought there was a lot of times when I was so close to giving up and I really never thought I'd just be able to chill and do you know what I mean? It's eight o'clock in the well, it's getting on for nine o'clock in the morning. Normally by now I'd be trying to get ready to go to the gym or having a panic attack over the fact that I've got to go somewhere or the panic attack over the fact I've got nothing to do or uh, do you know anything but it's just amazing that I'm there I think near enough so anxiety is the oh main issue that I just cracked that but it's it's hard to describe so it's it's right up at the top so more into my cranium than my neck but it is obviously my neck muscle because it just, well it's got to be but it's it's just so high up so it's not bothering me as much i mean i don't know if you remember when i used to do that all that gurning and stuff to crack all these out and there are still a couple under there that i know and i just did crack them to be quite honest <laughs> But I don't need to do it anywhere near as much and sometimes I can go an entire day without needing to do it. And I don't know, I think it's just a case of, um, yeah, I'm keeping on doing what I'm doing. Anybody has got any ideas of anything that they want me to, I'm, I, like I say, like, this uh, massive disclaimer, I have no medical expertise whatsoever. So if you're asking me for advice, it is layman's based on my own personal experience. But if you do have any questions and you want to ask about how I've managed to fix this, fix that, fix the other, or do you know what I mean? What's helped me and stuff, then, you know, just drop me a message. I mean, um, if you're struggling to um, get me through, or, or just write it up on, you know, on the comments on, on um, YouTube or Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Um, but if you can't, just let me know and I'll give you my email address and you can always contact me that way. Um, but I mean, um, do you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, I think I'm, 
I think I really am getting there. It's it's been a long, 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 long journey. <laughs> twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen is when I gave up the opiates. The November. Was it November? I did it on Twitter. And um yeah, with the RSO called Turkid, no choice. Because of the fact that it brought back the pain every time I took a codeine. Go and figure some doctor, please try and explain that to me. I don't know. But here we are. And um, yeah, all right, 10 to 9. I think a cuppa is calling and is it stopped training? Oh, let me have a quick. No, it's still raining. But you know, when it, you're still tempted to just go out anyway. I don't know, I might get some breakfast and get a couple of jobs done, check the website, make sure there's no orders on. Because um, it wasn't earlier, but there might be now because I've done an advert. Yeah, 10% off if you get in tonight before 7.30, I think the cutoff is. Um, use the code Dr. Coco. That's D-R-C-O-C-O, -C -O, all lower casing, because his nephew loves my paste. <laughs> and so as a, uh, a spontaneous wee celebration, I said, sod it, 10% off to anybody that quotes Dr. Coco. So there you go, go check out the site. I'll put the link up in the um, youtube -y thingy. And um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, right, I'm going to get off because I've been waffling for 31 minutes, and I? And I'm sure that you must all get bored soon. But like I say, I am going to start trying to do some get me better, get you better. Help, no. Well, what did I say it was? Help get me better and get, uh, help get me better and get you better. Or some I don't fucking know. But basically, it's just a case of I'll show you what I'm doing to help me get better. And you can give it a try and see if it works for you as well if it doesn't work. But do you know what I mean? I just don't see why yoga won't work for everybody. It's, um, it certainly seems to be helping an awful lot of people. Um, I mean, I know one lady that seems to think that it's practically cured her um, endometriosis, the combination of them. Um, look really dark there. Uh, that's it. Yeah, the combination of um, cannabis and um, yoga, she seems to think has um, pretty much cured or put into remission her endometriosis, which is amazing. So it's, um, and the more you read and learn about yoga, it, it, it's it is quite interesting um, how it works and I don't know I really do think that maybe instead of going to the gym however many years ago I should have maybe tried taking up yoga but it is what it is and I am here now and um, yeah we're there I think near enough I think um, yeah build the strength back up because this is what I've done I've been resting for too long because of this chest infection and all my muscles have disintegrated. Not disintegrated, but they're nowhere near as strong as they should be. So it's going to be a case of me starting out as a beginner yoga person. So you're not going to be thinking, oh God, she, she used to spend hours in the gym. I'm never going to be able to do what she does. Because when it comes to yoga, I am a beginner. And yeah, it's just a bit of fun. And prattling around doing what feels right with your body. You can move your body in any way you want and just make yourself feel better. But movement is key. Anyway, right, I am getting off this time and I am going to go get myself a drink. I will think about going and go for a walk in the rain. I might, I don't know, because I could have a bath when I get in. There's already one run. We ran. Mike had a bath last night, and I was thinking of getting in afterwards, so I could half empty it and refill it with hot water to save water. Hmm, very tempting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, right. You have a great week, guys, and I'm sure I will catch up with you later because um, I do. I need to start getting doing stuff again. Mike got really upset watching one of the um, little epilepsy boys, um, boisterous Ben, um, when he was back in hospital because his parents couldn't afford the cannabis meds. He got very upset, he was crying. 
and he was saying to me, I just wish there was something you could, I could do. And I said, well, there is. I said, you could start becoming an activist, the proper, not just supporting me, not just being there in the background, but become an activist. So I'm going to try and drag him into a few more things and, um, you know, just, I don't know. So if anybody's got anything sponsored wise that they can think that we can do to make money for um, Intractable or, um, I don't know, just anything to raise awareness for medical cannabis, anything. Um, do you know what I mean? Just give me a shout, whatever. Lady from ITV Calendar got in touch with me and I've had diddly squats since. So it's, 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 it can be frustrating, so I don't know. Maybe I ought to try reaching out to some of the papers. Aye, aye. Maybe. I don't know. I've been in a couple, but I don't think I've done too bad. Uh, boys, boys. I've got a little lump here. It's just a little bit of a knot, so I'm going to have to get moving just to release that. So I will catch up with you later, guys. Have a great day, week, week, and whatever else until I catch you next time. But hopefully I will catch you sooner because, yeah, I need to keep going. I need to keep going. I need to keep doing. And I don't know. I just do. But you take care of yourself, guys, and I will try and do the same. Bye, guys.